What is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. So we are actually on our way back to Devon's. I know we have not been to Devon's in a very, very long time, but we are gonna get back there and we actually have some stuff that we're gonna be doing on the brand new 2019. So super excited to get up there and hopefully everything goes smooth. You know how that can go sometimes, but hopefully since there's no rusty bolts and stuff like that, we shouldn't have too many complications. But first we're gonna run by the bank because um, labor is not free on trucks and then we're going to get up there and get some work done. Hopefully things go as smooth as possible and we can have this truck done tonight. I'll show you what we're doing back up at Devon's. Devin, what is this? Um, I believe that is a little birdie spacer to make the front is of this. A Mordecai spacer? A Mordecai spacer, <laughs> right? A Mordecai, yeah. I totally this, can we get the Mordecai to pop up? There we go. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, so we haven't seen Devin in a while. Yeah. What happened? Are we not friends anymore? Or? I thought you like divorced me there for a minute or something. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna have to take my other ring off. <laughs> People asking like, dude, where's Devin? And I'm like, dude, we've been traveling like crazy, but yeah. we are back. Devin's still the guy doing the truck work stuff. So yeah. we're doing a two and a half inch rough country spacer with a new shock absorber on the front. And that's pretty much gonna be the setup for this truck. I wanna keep the factory rear end on it. I'm gonna do some airbags for hauling. But other than that, this is pretty much gonna be the setup at least for handful of months unless we decide we want to go bigger yeah. or do something different but for now this is what we're gonna run it'll look cool he's just trying to make it look like the dually outside yeah I'm trying to make it at least look pretty cool for Instagram for now right. until they have some bigger better kits out yeah. and then uh, I haven't seen no duallys lifted I've seen um 1500s yeah of course you know mm -hmm. uh, I've seen them and then a 2500 I saw a 2500 that's not out released yet for like social media but yeah. I saw it pretty cool uh, different. So we're just trying to work on little things. It'll be cool. It'll be freaking sweet when we get the wheels and tires on it. It's oh. gonna be. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna be what I was telling Lance. I'm like, it's gonna stick out probably. 75% of the 1250 in the rear is gonna be outside the fender. <laughs> That's crazy. It's It'll gonna be, be cool. wide. But yeah, yeah, he's gonna get working away on this, you know, because. We don't work on our trucks anymore, Devin. It's you work on our trucks. It's fine with me. I've been a busy guy, man. You know? Yeah. I got my own project. So yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it will he'll show you around those afterwards. <laughs> afterwards. Afterwards. So how'd it go, Devin, overall? How was it, uh, difficulty, one out of 10. 10 being hard. Uh, I'll leave one. A solid one. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, they're definitely different from the year that these leveling kits are supposed to go on for the instructions. So, um, you're supposed to like rotate it forward. So the perch is actually pushing the coil out further. So, it's not bad, we only had to call rough country to say hey uh your directions so <laughs> this does not look go safe. figure right <laughs> yeah so they're like he's like oh um we'll just try this and uh see if that works uh we don't really have any other information on a 19 so it's like uh i called them and they're like yeah no it works on 19 but they said they've never even done it before yet so i'm like how do you know for sure but they're like well apparently from the factory they you know ram told them that you know, in terms of the strut and coil location, they said it's the same. They said anything bigger than that, you're gonna have to wait. Yeah. But there, yeah. there she be. Yep, it looks kind of goofy now because it's stretched because we have a little uh -huh. compressed yet. Yep. Might be able to see the other side a little bit better. Oh yeah. Not bad, not bad. Your, your gun tried to kill me there. <laughs> Impact gun, come on now. 
Well, yeah, it looks good. It's gonna look really good. I can't wait to get the wheels and tires on it. Right? It's gonna be huge. Then after that, if I get bored of it in like six months, we can put like a freaking huge lift on it. Exactly. Just hit the massive. Hey. Right. Well, we're gonna have to go bigger because right now it's gonna be the biggest fifth gen dually. <laughs> but after like two months, it's not gonna be anymore. <laughs> so, right? so we're gonna have to change the plan. Still waiting on my, I talked to my guy last weekend, last Friday, I saw him and he's like, hey, I'll let you know about getting that truck there for that mock-up kit. So I was like, all right, yeah, cool. He's like, I'm actually going to pick my truck up Monday. So that was yesterday. Okay, okay. Oh, well, we'll see. In terms of the wheels, I'd probably keep the same wheels for the rear. And all I would do is just get a, a little bit wider wheel for the front. Yeah. Do like a 20 by 14 instead of a 20 by 10 if we did actually go bigger to kind of stand out a little bit. But right. We'll see, we'll see. We'll Time run will. this setup for uh, Several thousand miles, then we'll time will tell. Yeah, then we'll see what we want to do. This was worse. So they picked up a couple of these Scout International Scout International track. Scouts. Yep. 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 Both 78s. 78s. Crusty but rusties. Crusty. <laughs> crusty but trusty. Yep. Maybe not so trusty right now. No, not right now. <laughs> right now. This one supposedly runs, but it's full of like poop and stuff. So like, oh, <laughs> nice. So, are you sure it runs? It didn't look like it would it. No, run. it ran. It fired up the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, no, it fired up off oh, of the uh, starting fluid. <laughs> I guess just because it looks bad on the outside doesn't mean the internals are all eaten up. Right? So, I'm going to clean everything up and all that. And I'm going to get this one running and roadworthy um, for an international show that's coming up. And then the white one was wrecked. We got a whole brand new tub for it that's rust free like towards the bottom and everything um we ordered new rear quarters for it and then just a back patch panel um for the back of it and then i took the i took the stuff that was good off of this one the white one i took the front fenders off the front clip uh, i still got some more stuff to take off of it took off the glass uh the windshield housing and then both the doors were shot on that one so i went and bought two new doors went and bought a whole bunch of parts and then uh, that one I don't know if we're gonna sm do a small block big block or do a Cummins in it I want to do a first gen really bad the VE pump 12 valve I don't care what or it a P -pump is or P pump well, either one a P pump 12 valve would be bad you exactly. can make a lot of power with it really easy <laughs> as, lo as long as it goes like I will make it fit in there as long as I can find one good deal the nice thing about a 12 valve is they fit in almost anything that's square. Yeah. Well, a kid took one of these and put a uh, like a 4BT a in A 4BT would fit in it perfect, like cherry, like dude, just like this. It looks just like this. Yeah, this is this, what it It'd be like. the same like width and everything. Exactly. Well, length. Yeah. I yeah. was like, dang. And he did that and I was like, I could put a 6BT in one, like no problem. And so I was like, yeah, might as well do a 6BT and try and uh, put a manual in it and then just make it so that thing just, brrr, just dumps it but oh it'll be it cool. would it'll be cool <laughs> I said it. well well if you start making these videos on these things i know people I would freaking to. dig it i know i need to people you're freaking crazy about these things i know you don't see something like this like how many people are making videos on something like this with the diesel swap on it i've never seen like anybody do videos on them there's that one guy that built that one that was on coilovers went to sema last year i don't remember his name but his is pretty sweet I liked it. I just didn't, yeah, I'm gonna do a four link kind of like his, but I'm gonna do bigger and heavier deer stuff to get more power. All leveled out. She looks good. I, got, I gotta say, I gotta say, it looks good. Devin does a good job and he makes things very simple and very clean looking. And uh, I like it. I like it. it. Turned out really good. And um, not quite as cool looking as that truck yet which could be yours keep in mind imagine that sitting in your driveway but the front end now keep in mind this is on like 31 inch tires and they're going to be 35s or maybe they're like 33 inches tall i don't know um so obviously this truck has an advantage in height but this truck actually sits almost the same height that's a five inch zone kit in the front this is just a two and a half inch rough country leveling kit um, which is just a two inch spacer with the shock absorber as i kind of already showed you that earlier 
you can see that new style um, spacer for these fourth gens. But um, it's a, well, it's a fourth gen spacer on a fifth gens. In terms of suspension, that's pretty much what we're gonna run now. Of course, you're probably gonna go bigger at some point, but for now. This is what I want to run just because it's what's available and I can get a good looking wheel and tire setup on it real quick so I can get the truck looking good and really presentable. In terms of what else we might do, I don't know other than the wheels and tires and we got to get it over to the shop because not the shop at Devon's, not the shop around the corner that does my wheels and tires, but the shop that does the performance stuff and we're going to get this thing really, really scooting down the road very nicely. In terms of this first gen over here, I'm not sure what to do with it now. Like I said, we may have popped the head on this thing. I don't know for sure. All I know is that when we got this out of the river and we even had it here, there was a little bit of a milky substance coming out of the blow-by tube. Let me know what you guys think. Is that mud and water from something getting sucked in in the river and that murky, milky looking watery, muddy stuff? Or is that a sheer sign that we blew the head on this thing? Um, when we were mudding and also there's tons of like white steamy smoky stuff like blowing out of there too so I don't know it was kind of nasty I was gonna start it up and see if it spit more stuff out but if you look right there on the ground there's some of that oily milky looking stuff sitting there and this truck never leaked a drip of anything believe it or not until we got this thing parked if you look down here some more there's some more stuff here and I don't know if some of this is just mud and clay and dirty watery stuff it's gonna it's, it's kind of too early to tell still we'll find out soon if you look over here too we'll check this out that's clearly oil but this thing never dripped any oil before so I don't know we'll see Devin wants me to basically give him a steal of a deal on it so he can just use the truck for a scout build a scout international build that he's doing We'll see, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it kinda depends on what's actually wrong with it or what's not wrong with it, but we'll get it all sorted out. And hopefully you like the way the fifth gen has turned out. It's looking really good, we're far from done. We got wheels, tires, performance stuff, all sorts of stuff coming to this truck and some more stuff once some more aftermarket accessories start to show up for it. And then also in terms of this truck, this truck could be yours. There are only four more days and then the giveaway for this truck is gone and in the books. So keep that in mind, guys. Do not miss out on your opportunity to win a beautiful, beautiful truck. Every $15 you spend on LMP gear gets you another entry to win. You can buy hats, hoodies, t-shirts, keychains, all sorts of stuff. And just for $15 minimum, you could win this truck. I got a lot of work to do. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Enter the giveaway for this truck. Please do not miss out. I would hate for you to miss your opportunity to own your dream truck. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.